Hello everyone and welcome along to Cinemas Lost Forever. Today we're going to take a look at the Cornhall Cinema in Halesworth in Suffolk. Again though, long since gone. Now sadly nothing is known of the seating capacity of the building, the projection equipment used or any of the staff names and only two images of the building survive to this day. But I feel that even with little information it's important that we preserve the memory of this cinema with what we have and what we know. Now the Corn Hall was built on land to the rear of what is now and probably was then the Angel Hotel and the actual spot is now part of the hotel car park. This image shows the start of the existing car park and over the other side of the road is the parish church. After many years as a corn hall, it was later used for dancers and concerts and it was converted to cinema use sometime between 1916 and 1921. The cinema pioneer was a Mr C. R. Punchard, an electrical engineer by trade and a farmer's son. He called it the Corn Hall Picture House. It was later taken over by Mrs Hipperson, who also owned the cinema in Beckles, and it was later known as just the cinema, as you'll see from press advertisements that we've got a few photos of. Later on, some say that it was taken over by Mrs Butterfield, who owned both cinemas in Beckles, the cinema and the Regal. The fact that the name was changed to the cinema may point to Mrs Butterfield being involved. Other sources say that the Hippersons owned it until its closure, so I cannot really say for sure. But the Corn Hall closed in 1964, having become slightly ramshackle and not quite up to standard. In fact, the gallery or balcony was condemned as being unsafe. From the two surviving photos of the building, I don't think it looked safe at all, and the building itself was demolished in 1968. And if you look at this pitch of the Corn Hall being demolished, you can see the parish church in the background over the other side of that road. Note what looks like projection ports to the right of the photo on the inside of the building. This ties in with the original photo in which you can clearly see steps up and a door leading in to what I assume was the projection area. It goes without saying that this photo was taken in 1968 during its demolition. Lastly, I could not resist, including an article found for us by Howsworth Museum. It's a newspaper cutting, but unfortunately it has no date, but I think it's circa early 1930s, describing some enterprising young boys attempting to set up their own cinema. Unfortunately, the local police had other ideas. I thought it was a great story and one you might enjoy. The cinema performance was in full swing, the audience held spellbound, then in stepped two uniformed policemen and the show closed down. Now the proprietors were Master Ronald Smith, Kenneth Veazey, Cecil Parling and Morris Wilkes, 12 and 13 years of age. Now the cinema was a ramshackle corrugated iron and wood shed, six foot square, at the bottom of Smith's garden, and the entrances and the exits were of sacking. Seating accommodation was for 12, and admission was a halfpenny, of course payable in advance. Electric light was provided by turning a bicycle upside down with engineer Wilkes at the pedals, so putting into operation the cycle dynamo. Parling was the musical director in charge of a portable gramophone, and Vizi operated his toy cinematograph. While he was rewinding his celluloid films by the light of a hurricane lamp, Smith projected homemade slides through his lantern, thus making a non-stop programme. But the police did not think the venture sufficiently fireproof to allow it to continue. The firm had had visions of building up their business, but now Ronald Smith admits that they have no plans for the immediate future. How's that for enterprise? Well, that's it for this time. I have preserved the memory of the Corn Hall in Halesworth, and that's the important thing. The Regal in Durham Road, Norwich is next. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you want to. That helps me a lot. Soon I will venture outside of East Anglia to look at cinemas more nationwide. Till next time though, 
be good to each other, and I'll see you soon. Ta-da. <laughs>